What is going on guys, this is the Lazy LP here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we saw our sister get kidnapped before our- well, we didn't see it. Our sister got kidnapped by some witch, and some mole talked to us and gave us some moves. And, yeah, now I have to go around this place and explore. Um, yeah, I figured you guys didn't- it'd be, should be boring to, um go through the, the tutorial and whatnot and have him explain, oh, this is this move and this is that move when I can just explain it. What I just did there, you press Z and A, you do a little high jump. Um, so pretty much all the, all the, the only thing that the moves are for, the tutorial is for, is to get your honeycombs to get first piece of life. You collect six honeycombs, you get, okay, you get six honeycombs, you get uh, an extra thing of life. There's one in the water. Is it all the way over on the other side? Come on, man, dude. Wow, this. Press B. Yeah. To dive down. Press B to swim fast and A to swim slow. Which A to swim slow is very useful in some of the um, later water levels when you try to maneuver around this. Try to move around with just that um fast move is just ridiculous. Right there, you can climb up trees just by going up to them. A and B, good attack right there. Probably the best attack that you have, aside from just eggs that you'll get later on. Oh wait, over here you'll get a life. Because unlike this game's successor, Banjo-Tooie, this runs on lives, which I'm not a big fan of. Because I... Wait, what's this one? So you didn't need my help, so you're on your own until you get inside. Wow! I think this one's just that move. Wow. I never knew that. Yep, honey, use your energy. One of the good things about this game is... Um, you can just. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. Um, one of the good parts about this game is if you just kill an enemy, the honey will just stay there. As long as you're in the level, It'll just stay there. Which I really like. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't know that. If you said no to his help, he wouldn't help you at all. Because I don't really say no to his help because I don't need it. Because, like, a bam. Um, no, that's funny. That's just one of the many funny parts about this game. Like I mentioned. This whole game is just amazing. So now we go to the top. Can I go this way? No, it's Banjo-Tooie. God dang it. That's one of the things that makes Banjo-Tooie better than this game. That I don't... I wouldn't say Banjo Tooie is better than this game. I would almost prefer this one to Banjo Tooie. Yay, we did it! So you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, little boy. That's the bridge. Turn, 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 Man, am I going to keep those voices up throughout the game? I don't know. Maybe. So now we go into the lair. And we get a cutscene. Oh no, she's trapped. <laughs> Meanwhile, Crunchy doesn't even be trapped. Or held in. She's so fat. Tooty old. Let me go, you. F Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you. He will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. You don't push a switch, you pull a switch. Dumb. Banjo, help! Oh, poor Tootie. I'll save you, don't worry, Tootie. Come right here, ignore what she's saying, and you get a, your first chicky. That easy. 
Don't. And then, but and then Kazooie goes and eats the darn thing. Like, what the heck, man? We need those. Jeez. You're gonna be eating everything that we get. Not too sure, I want you. You come over here, and this is how you get into the worlds in the game. In the world, trying to picture must fill the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We got the first jigsaw piece, Cocker Boy. Don't start yawning, man. Easy as that. Well, of course, it'd be easy as that's the first world. Sweet. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Test your wit. We'll fix your wagon. So. Many, 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 many things to collect in each world. Like these, for instance. Yep. One hundred. Man, this game's just tutorials of plenty, huh? Uh, dude, thank you. Oh man, here I was gonna say, like, see, this is why you need A, but to swim, but they just maneuver around it quite easily. <laughs> Come on, game. Go away, leave my honeycombs alone. You come over here and there's this gorilla throwing oranges down on us. Like, what the heck, man? Is that a man or is that a woman? Yeah, just like that, get first. Jeez, man, is this a let's play or a speed run? I don't even know. Man. Then again, it is the first world. Of course, it's going to be easy. Are you ready to leave this world? Turn this. Man, can I play this game without people talking to me? No, what you're supposed to do is go over here, and this one, he's like, hey, I want an orange, but, you know. Since I already know the game. Chippies like Conga's oranges. I bet you do. Perv monkey, get out of here. This is a family game. Perv monkey. I can jump up here. It come, it come. Oh, I haven't gotten that move yet. Oh. Those skulls, since, you know, the things didn't get a chance to play are what you use to pay a certain xylophone playing Skullman to transform into your different forms at each level. But we'll get into that later when we get to him. Blah, blah, blah. I know how to use eggs. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know. <laughs> Oh my god, let me play the game. Hey. So I come up here and animal abuse. Ow, no, don't knock me down. Don't knock me down. Oh, jeez, man. It's just like any Nintendo villain, you hit our three. What? I don't know if I call Kanga a villain. She's just a monkey that you come out of nowhere and so truly get rid of her switches, get rid of her own friend, own one of her kind, steal her fruit, and then pelt her with eggs for no reason. So maybe we're the villain. Wouldn't that be crazy if Banjo was the villain all along? And everybody's just living their happy lives. Like, look at this this guy's not hurting anybody. And yeah, I go up and just kill him. Hmm. Maybe we are the villains in this world. Well, what? I hear someone calling for help. Aha. Oh, hey. 
Me, Mumbo took and you stuck Mumbo skull. That's what he said. Oh wait, gotta get the move. This is the one move that always trips me up. No matter how many times I play it, cause it's just in an awkward spot. Like, I always come up from that little path, so I'm like, okay, where is the town trot at? So. Ninji's little low, I'll fill it up for you. No, it's not. The one thing. Dude, dude. So, I pretty much have been playing this game ever since I can remember. This was like my first game I ever got for the N64 when I was five or six. And I remember my cousin would always come over and just play this game and I'd watch him, watch him, watch him. And he had 100% in it many times. And so on his files I 100% and I just remember running around and just having a grand old time. But still to this day, the only thing that trips me up when it comes to getting stuff is the honeycombs. Because, you know, everything else respawns in the level. Well, except for Jiggies. Then again, Jiggies are easy enough to find. Yippee, you collected enough notes to break through the first note door. Goody. Shinjo. Let's see, 11 minutes. 11.40. Let me keep going. Oh, the other one's over there. But before we go back over there, come up here and get this move. I know one of them's on top of this thing. There you go, goes. Filled with blue pebble. Where she got a little dude? Little dude. Dude! Can I shoot this? Oh, I can do that. I always thought you had a poop into him. Dude, don't go change the camera or anything. Else. Dude. Shoot. Okay, no, I didn't screw myself out of this. I think. Is that the only one in this? Hold on, I'm gonna be toys. Yes, I'm already doing this. Okay, no. There's another one. Is it in the ant? Or no, it's in the mountain. Well, dude. Well, dude. If you could stop. Pick up the jiggy, man. Such a dingus. Such a doofus, man. Can't play the game worth nothing. Dude, I don't want to go in here. I don't even have enough things. How do I not have enough Momo tokens? If I'm having this much trouble in the first world, that's not a good sign for this. <laughs> I should have practiced. This is the first time I'm playing this game in like years, man. Beak Buster jumped in. Oh, yeah, we will. Whoa! It seems that all the moves in this game just abuse Kazooie. Like, okay, you have this one where you're walking on her. You have this one, you're using her to jump up high. This one, you're smashing her face into the ground. You're making her spit up eggs in one of her moves. What else? Using her as a device to swim around with. Um, what else? Oh, later, you use her as a flying device. Um, many others. Yeah, so when I was a kid, it would play this. Um, since I never could find the talent trot, like the times where I played it by myself, I could never find the talent trot, so for most of the game, I would go without it. And doing these sections was just the worst. Because I would try to jump from platform to platform. Instead of actually doing, you know, using the Talon Tron. So, 
two more Jiggies. I don't like that. Let's see. I know there's one. Hmm. Doesn't sit well with me. Well, dude! Get off me. See? Oh, wow, dude. You didn't even squish the last one. There we go. Dang. 15, 20. Do I want to keep going? Yeah, that's the first world. Wait. Is there one inside? Oh, no. It's in the thing. No! Mini Mumbo, but uh, it's scary. Look at that scary face for his icon. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, I know, I know where the last one is. Gosh. So many people get on my case, man. So go inside here. And this is devious of them to do. You can actually go up to this layer. Can you go up more? No, you can't. You have to go inside the place that you need the transformation. Like, where you use transformation to get something to use the transformation. Like, what other game? No other game does that where you have to go to the place where you use something to get something. Like, you wouldn't, in Super Mario 64, you wouldn't go to the Metal Cap Switch Palace to get the Metal Cap Switch Palace to get the Metal Cap. Well, Actually, you do. I need a better analogy. Um, let me think. So anyway, this is... Let's talk about the game balance, man. This is the first transformation to turn, right? You can just move around and jump. So you go in here and get out of my way, fool. And this allows you to climb all the way to the tippy top, and this just gets ridiculous sometimes. Yep. Yes. All a hundred notes, baby. It won't be that easy for the next worlds. This game starts to get kind of ridiculous with its notes spread out. I mean, look at this. Everyone, I'm already almost. Not, I'm 99% done with this world in only 17 minutes. I can guarantee I will not be finishing the other worlds this fast. Shoot! Well, this sucks. I'm gonna have to go transform just to transform back. Because I forgot to hit. God dang it. I forgot to go hit the witch switch. Uh, brother, I'll just meet you back over by, uh, well, it's not that far of a walk. Because if I say I'll meet you back, I'll just end up, keep talking, I'll be more likely to keep it in. Yeah, that's the first level. I think I need to cut. It's doing a lot better than I thought it would, though. Do 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 Which switch what I'm talking about is in every level there's a switch with Grunty's face on it and you get to smash it. Smash his face with an iron No, we're not gonna be stealing other people's catchphrases. Um say so jump, jump, jump. You pound it. And this appears outside the level. You're thinking, what the heck, man? How am I going to get up there? It's too steep. Well, let me show you. Let the good old lazy LP show you how to get up there. Okay, nope. Not whistling. I probably sounded awful. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Sorry, welcome Mike. Can I get this level done before 20 minutes? No, don't punch him. Man, I can't. Oh well. So you take the termite. And you go outside the level. I know it's crazy. It's just one of the many things that I thought that would be so awesome in this game. And I can't believe I forgot to hit the witch switch. Yeah, that's one of the bad parts about the way I do this level. Oh well. Do 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 do. So you can come back over here. Go on the pad. And you come out. Grunt these magic stops you from taking the notes off the swirl. Just collect it counts as your best note scores. Try to get 100 notes on each pearl as long as they need to open up the note doors. Keep that in mind, viewers. That will become important much later. So you come outside to get that. And then you move on. In the world. No more magic could work. And we'll turn back. Or whatever. Or change back. Or magic. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. I said it's a good place to stop as any. Um, seeing as how we just got the first world done. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go up there because it's just going to get me to know the tutorial. And then I won't be able to stop the video for a while. So, in the next episode, we shall go see what's up yonder. Up this spooky hill. So, see you guys. See you guys next time. This is LazyLP. Signing off. See you guys.